Welcome to part four of our forward facing tree. So we're actually going to give exporting um, the tree in Blender a go. Right, to do an export, you have to have certain files set up in your um, folder uh, for the uh, that you saved your Blender tree. So um, if you um, look in your Blender exporter folder, uh, sorry, the uh, zip of the uh, exporter, you'll find uh, a number of files. Um, let's um, copy these to here, these two text files, copy and paste. Okay. Now, the first file you need to just leave named as that. The second file you must name with an extension of exactly the same name as the name of the um, Blender file. So TSD tree, um, I think that's it. Let me just check. Let me have a look at a pre one I made earlier. Um, oh, um, you need to put an underscore. So TSD tree underscore IGSX mod file 2.0. Okay, let's have a look at the contents of these two files. So here's those two files in Notepad++. By the way, Notepad++ much much better than notepad it's a great little text editor I highly recommend it and yes it's open source i think it's open source but it's certainly free i'm pretty sure it's open source as well okay so the igs xbod mile file text that is uh, has all, quite a number of settings the default settings are fine these are just shorthand names so where in my blender model where i've used um uh where's my texture name on the tree, you can see I've used train up right view facing floor FX. I could use a shorthand version here. They've said that the shorthand name TR up V face flora will correspond to the full shader name. So I can use either. So you can use shorthand name or long name. If you want to set up your own custom shorthands for the shaders, you can do. The defaults are fine though. The um, uh, other file controls all the settings that you might want to use to assign specific uh, settings um, to specific materials and things like that. Now here you can see uh, uh, again a blue beta one I made earlier uh, settings file for a forward facing tree. So I'm going to copy and paste those um, into our, our new one. Okay, and I'll explain what they do. So this is saying alpha test mode is enabled for the material matte simple tree. But hold on, I didn't have a material called matte simple tree. My material, if we look at 11000 uh, FF tree, was called matte tree. So let's copy that name, go back to our text file. So now alpha test mode, basically the ability to, for um, the forward facing tree to understand the alpha of our texture. Uh, we need to have that enabled, so matte tree is enabled one. The textures folder, well all our textures were in a folder called textures. Let's just show you that again there. So here's our TST tree folder, and there's our textures folder, and there's our PNG file. So there, I'm telling it that a subfolder called textures exists with all the textures it needs. And then finally hierarchy. The um, exporter will try and optimize the hierarchy for you. I'm going to set it to unchanged. Um, you can um, uh, tweak that if you want to. Um, now, um, I'm going to save that file. Um, we're going to do so a couple of things that I know often cause problems on the export. So, uh, it's a good idea to apply what's called the transforms, the rotations and the scales. So, you can see I've got uh, um, some rotations and scales going on with our, my object here. So if I do Control and A, so I've got my forward facing tree and press con selected and press Control and A, I can then go Apply, Rotation and Scale. And if you watch these numbers here, they'll all go, I think, believe they'll go to zero. So let's go Control A. Okay, that means the rotate, how I rotated it and how I scaled it, those settings have now been applied, so they're fixed now. Okay, um, if we do the same for our selection box, um, doesn't appear to have any uh, settings done, but we're going to do Control and A and apply those settings as well. The other thing we're going to do is I'm going to select the. Um, uh, let me just uh, have these viewed one at a time and go to uh, wireframe mode. You can see this little circle here. That's the object origin for our selection box. Okay. Um, 
it's a good idea to have the object origin set to the center of each individual object. To do that, just go object, transform, origin to geometry. And we'll do the same for our um, uh, tree. And it looks like it's got it already, but we'll confirm control A, sorry, not control A, object, transform, origin to geometry. Okay, so let's save that again. So we've uh, sorted out our um, object origins. I've applied my scales and rotations. Um, let's put texture mode back on. Uh, save. And now we're going to do the actual export. Or we've put those text files in there that are needed as well. So I'm going to do the actual export. Now, um, actually, I have forgotten one thing. Uh, we have got a texture file, but the... Um, Oh, actually, it doesn't need to be done at this stage. We're going to need to convert that to an ACE, and I'm going to show you how to convert that to an ACE shortly. So let's go File Export and see if this actually works. It might work, it might not, I don't know. So Export, IGS. Um, TSD Tree to IGS is fine. We're going to allow it to be optimized. Uh, we're going to attempt to use Selection or Only Visible Children. So if I just cancel out of that, if I've turned some of these off, then it won't export them if I have the Use Visible Children only selected. So if you've got lots of things in here and you only want to export a certain item, just make them invisible before exporting. So again, File, Export. Happy with those options. Export. All right. The way to find out if it's worked or not is to go and have a look in your folder to see if there is an IGS file. Well, we've got an IGS file, that's good, so it means it has worked. And let's go and have a look at the log file. We'll look at that in Notepad++ again. So, I didn't do verbose logging, so it's only giving us basic information, but that's fine. It's saying we didn't specify a main object, so it's chosen the selection box as the main object. Again, that's not that's fine. Um, these are the shaders it's using, these are the settings. So basically, that looks like it has worked properly. Okay. So now we've got our export done. The next stage will be to set up our um, blueprint for our forward-facing tree in Blueprint Editor, which is a program that comes with Railworks or Train Simulator. Um, okay, thanks very much for watching. That's the end of this part.